I'd like to call the second annual or second regular meeting of the 2019-2020 council meeting to order. Would the clerk please read the quote for the day? Setting goals is a first step in turning the invisible into the visible. Thank you very much. Would the clerk please call the roll? There are 10 present. Thank you. Please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. Next item on the agenda is approval of the minutes from our first meeting. Alderperson Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to approve. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the minutes? Seeing none. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Uh, next is Mayor's announcements. Well, first of all, happy Earth Day. And remember, it's not a day, it's a movement. I hope that we will consider some of the opportunities in the next couple of days to celebrate Earth Day. Uh, we have a residence uh, water challenge for water conservation going on. And we're asking uh, residents to go to mywaterpledge.com to participate in the online pledge. And uh, Sheboygan is currently in 14th place of the cities in the nation in our population division. So I hope you'll take some time to do that. Also, Arbor Day program is scheduled for April 26th. It'll be at 1030 at JC Park. And we'll be celebrating Arbor Day and the city receiving uh, Wisconsin's first 41-year Tree City USA recognition. That means Sheboygan was the first Wisconsin community to meet the guidelines set by the Arbor Day Foundation and can, has continued ever since. And then we also um, want to promote uh, drug take back day. We want to get uh, pharmaceuticals out of the, uh, the waste stream and uh, get them off the market. And uh, the Sheboygan Police Department, St. Nicholas Hospital and Walgreens will all be participating in this program on April 27th. And then we also want to remind uh, residents that very soon on April 30th, we'll end alternate side parking rules for the winter. And I want to thank the residents for their understanding with the extension of alternate side parking for one additional month. During this time, the street sweepers were able to get a head start on cleaning up the debris in our city streets uh, for the winter season. And in 2018, the Department of Public Works Streets Department sweeping operation disposed of 23.2 tons of debris from these operations and logged 5,069 miles during the year. If you'd like to get uh, more involved, you might want to consider getting a group together and adopting a park or adopting a trail. The Adopt a Park and Trail programs are spearheaded again by the Department of Public Works and uh, you can contact their department to get more information on this program. Last year we launched two new pilot projects, the adoption of Moose Park and a portion of the Shoreland 400 Trail. And then there's many other uh, events going on, I think mostly on the first Saturday of May. Uh, there's some beach cleanup programs that are going on with some of our neighborhood associations and other groups. Other events that are uh, coming up are the Sheboygan Police Department is providing free violent intruder active shooter training. This is going to take place April 24th from 6 to 9 o'clock at Sheboygan South High School in the LGI room. And they, you should contact Sergeant Andy Cuttinger in order to RSV for that, for, for, that uh, program. And on Friday, May 3rd, is National Day of Prayer in Sheboygan. Residents will gather at noon at the Fountain Park United Methodist Church to observe this day of prayer. And it's just 42 days until we move back into City Hall for the Common Council meeting on June 3rd. Next, we'll move on to item 1.5, confirmation of the mayor's appointments to standing committees. Pursuant to section 272 of the municipal code, standing committee assignments are made by the mayor on Tuesday, April 16th and subject to confirmation by the full council at the Monday, April 22nd meeting. The code further states that the mayor's responsibility is to make assignments that will best serve the interests of the city of Sheboygan. 
to assist me in that process, I asked the council members to rank their committee preferences, and I made every effort to take those preferences into consideration in the standing committee appointments that I have prepared for tonight and present for your consideration. Under the use under the municipal code, each alder person shall be appointed to at least one committee, but not more than two standing committees. In addition to the list of appointments for the standing committees, I've shared with the committee preferences and the spreadsheet of the rankings of all the alder persons. I'm pleased to report that eight of the alder persons received their first choice and two received their second choice in a committee appointment. I trust that you as common council members will agree that these committee assignments and leadership selections along with the elections held last week will position the city of Sheboygan for a successful 2019-2020 council year. Alderperson Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to confirm. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. All those in favor of confirmation, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? We'll consider that a unanimous vote. And then uh, we also have item 1.6, uh, confirmation of mayor's appointments to special committees, boards, and commissions. Alderperson Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to confirm. Thank you for that motion and support. All those in favor of the confirmations, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? We'll consider that also a unanimous vote. Next item is adjournment. Alderperson Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to adjourn. Second. Thank you. All those in favor of adjournment, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Okay, we, our next meeting is scheduled for a quarter after the hour, and we're going to have to wait till quarter after uh, to convene our special council meeting.